Now, when uh, some members of your party, uh, we had them on our program earlier, clearly they, they were not in agreement because they also had designs themselves. And as you have said, you, you expect this kind of uh, brickbats in, in politics. Um, but the other point that was made was that we are in a democracy here. We pride ourselves in APC as being Democrats. Ashwa Jiwala met Tinumbu, a leading one. And um, we were not consulted with at all. Um, now, uh, would, would, you, would you say that if anybody is speaking like that, he's overreaching himself a bit, or is it that the communication that followed, if indeed there was consultation, uh, was not um, all pervading enough before such allegations could be made that, you no, know, they're not happy, and um, actually they have the numbers, uh, that is to say those of them that are not happy, they have the numbers to influence things one way or the other. Uh, well, uh, you, you don't forget that the Senate is made up of about four parties, NMPP, Labour Party, APC, and PDP. I think YPP also has one can, uh, senator. Yeah, that's senator. right. Okay, the point is, you as a Senate president, aspirant, or a candidate for Senate presidency, it's your lot for you to, to go around you know, your colleague senators across party lines and see how much influence you can wield you know, to get them to support you. Democracy is all about constructive engagement. It's all about collective bargaining. It's about consultation. It's about lobbying because you can't expect everybody to fall in line on any decision taken, whether by the party, the president-elect, or even the Senate itself. That is why in time past you see all manners of impeachment here and there. But we thank God that there's some level of stability in the National Assembly leadership in the, in the recent past, and uh, that is because the party was able to put its foot down to uh, take a decision. Don't forget that Ahmed Lawa, the current Senate president, is a product of party's position. Adam Sushumole, as chairman of the party, as it were, had to stamp his feet down, even went to the gallery to see how the party's position will not be followed. And that was what gave rise to uh, Ahmed Lawan as a Senate president, because he was the choice of the party. Party supremacy must prevail in any democratic experimentation, any democratic orientation. And when I say party supremacy, it does not mean that you will not consult. You will have to consult, you have to reach out to your members, to your executive officers, and collectively take a decision that in your estimation, will be for the overwhelming good of the country. If uh, in the process certain persons feel aggrieved, it is the responsibility of the party to reach out to them, talk to them, try to make them see reasons. I, I am of the opinion that I love to robustly engage scenarios, processes, so that the final outcome will have the buy-in of everyone. In this present situation, I have told you personally that I would prefer the North. Okay, uh, just as you were speaking there, something happened. It dropped and mid-sentence, we uh, sort of uh, lost sound. But if you are just joining us. Our guest is uh, Mr. Kazim Afebwa. He's a former commissioner uh, for information in uh, Edo State. And we're talking about um, APC zoning of the National Assembly uh, top positions and, um, you know, the fallout from there. I mean, that's what it is right now. But uh, some people within the ruling APC, um, no doubt, maybe they had other ideas. And because of that, they have you know, spoken out, saying that um, they are not too happy with the way the thing has been, uh, this particular uh, project has been not just zoned, but micro-zoned. And uh, Mr. Kazim Afegba was just explaining there that, well, party suprem supremacy is very important, uh, even though that is not to say uh, party supremacy is about take it or leave it. 
that there are consultations. I wonder if uh, Kazim is back online. Um, okay, you're back, but I still can't hear you yet. I wonder if... Can, you, can, yeah. can, you, can you hear me yes. now? Yes, now I can hear you, Kazim. So, uh, okay. please, okay. It, it dropped off where you were explaining that it, uh, party, uh, 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 party supremacy didn't necessarily mean take it or leave it, uh, but you, that was when we lost sound. No, party, party, party supremacy has to do with also consulting with your members and officers and making them see reasons why certain decisions have been taken. Uh, you see, when people say uh, the party is imposing its whims, the party is not imposing its whims. The party has primacy in terms of what decisions you are going to take in the House, whether House of Reps or in the Senate, because you run under the flag of the party, under the logo of the party. In fact, your face did not appear on the ballot. So the party has a responsibility from time to time to continue to reach out to persons to push agenda that will suit the overwhelming interests of the party, because that is what is presented to Nigerians at the elections. Whether you are contesting for chairman of local government, House of Reps, House of Assembly, Senate, you need the party. That's mm -hmm. what the Constitution says. Okay. So that party must, must rise up to the occasion at all times to, to halt, you know, maybe prevailing uh, crisis or to halt processes that may lead to acrimony and what have you. So in the in the context of this zoning, I don't uh, I don't think anybody will quarrel with the fact that the South South deserves to have the Senate presidency. I don't think anybody will also quarrel with the fact that the South East should be given deputy speaker. But the other thing I know they may they may raise concern about is having two positions in Northwest, yes. deputy senate president and speaker, yes. living out in the North Central. And I have I have told you right on the, in this program that I would prefer one of those positions to be ceded to the North Central zone for okay. proper balancing and equitable sharing of the power algorithms. All right then, um, Mr. Yakub in Dokwemo. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, very good morning, sir. And then uh, good morning to Mr. Kasim Afegba. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very you much. Know, I, I totally agree with uh, Mr. Kasim Afegba. Some of us, uh, we are on. Um, no, it's not your earpiece, Kasim. Uh, I, I, I can't hear as well. As well. It's okay, not you. It's, okay. not, it's not anything on I your was... side. I, I was wondering. No. Uh, uh, so we just had Yakub on the line, and then he the audio sort of cut out. Uh, are you still there with us, Yakub? Oh dear. Uh, uh, well, what 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 the little that Yakub was able to say before it dropped out was that he found himself in in tandem uh, with your position, but uh, he he couldn't develop it beyond that. But. If he said he was, in fact, I think his words, paraphrasing him, if not quoting him directly, was that I agree totally with Mr. Kazim Afegwa. And you've just finished stating uh, your position, especially where, um, where it is personal, is where you say that, so far, as far as you're concerned, the speakership, the speakership of the uh, House of Reps and the Deputy Senate Presidency, um, both of them being zoned to the, um, you know, uh, uh, Not, to, Northwest. to the Northwest, um, you felt mm. you, you, you I think that one, that one can should be given to the North Central. Yeah, this is so. This is where uh, I know this. I might be trying. I, I, I'm not trying to put you in a tight spot, but exactly as you have said it, it's it's a glaring um, circumstance, shall we say? It's a glaring circumstance to have those two and then not have the North Central in there as well. But probably the. Um, the wise men who sat together and came up with this decision will probably have their reasonings as to why uh, two, of, uh, two principal offices should go to uh, one zone. And um, that is, uh, maybe from no, what I you think, have said. I think, Yari, Yari, yeah. let me help you. I think, I think the point is the, the leadership of the party must have to meet again. And they will have to meet in consultation with the president-elect and other shades of opinion must be collated to come up with in a more agreeable zone with respect to those two positions. 
uh, the speaker and the deputy senate president, they shouldn't look at the individuals they are, they are trying to present. They should rather look at the geopolitical interest. For the North Central Zone, they can give them a deputy senate president and allow the number four position to remain in the Northwest, aware that the Northwest has just, will just be finishing eight years of presidency. And so to that extent, if they get number four position with the speaker, that on account of the population and their contribution to the success of Tinubu, that would be okay by me. Mm. Then you give the deputy senate president to the, to the North Central Zone, that's also a good representation. Because power, power, political power has its own uh, elemental undercurrent. Uh, it is one thing for you to win power, which is a position of power. And the process of distributing power also has its own elements. And if you don't do that in a proper way, you may end up, you know, uh, running into avoidable crisis, which will, which will present themselves like distractions to the president-elect or president, as the case may be when he comes on stream. And so to that extent, it is worthy on the part of those who are the power players, the representative of the political parties, the, those who are aspirants and all of that, to look at all these variables and situate the interests of the country and the stability of the system in their heart of hearts mm -hmm. in taking those decisions. Okay.